So do you want to tell them what happened? Well, about two weeks ago, our Instagram got hacked. Our Instagram got hacked. And I'm just going to say it's been a long, stressful two weeks. So let me tell you what happened. I fell for a phishing email. And I'm in IT. I should know better. I'm not in cybersecurity, but I'm certainly close enough that I know better. I clicked on a link in an email. But that's the beauty of phishing emails. They're so effective because they play on your emotions. They make you think you did something wrong. They threaten you with losing something that's important to you. They give you a sense of urgency if you don't act now. And they count on you not thinking clearly or rationally. So this is the email I got. And it just starts off by saying that they have a notice that one of my posts contains uh, protected material that was used without obtaining the required permission from the owner. I make my own content. I make my own original content. I know I didn't steal anything from anybody. So curiosity got piqued. What on earth could someone be claiming that I stole? And then it goes on to say, if I don't object to the removal, that my account may face suspension. There's the fear of me losing something. So they kind of got me in two positions here. The first one is I've issued a lot of takedown notices to those accounts that post other people's content to sell stuff. They irritate me beyond irritation. And my curiosity was piqued because, hey, what does it actually look like when someone does a copyright against you? There was the curiosity. And I was also curious what on earth could someone have claimed that I stole from somebody. And then, I mean, I don't want my account suspended over something stupid like this. I just, I wasn't paying any attention. All the flags are there. There's a link to click. I didn't even bother checking to see if the link was any good. So I clicked it. So now the next little piece, I'm just gonna tell you from memory, because I really wasn't paying that close of attention, but this is sort of an example of what I saw on the screen. It looked like you could see someone's email address there. It looked like a report that maybe someone would submit. I don't know. I didn't know what it looked like. And it just kind of went on to say that there's been a copyright infringement. Click the link to the video that infringes on my rights. And I clicked on the link. And it took me to a video. I'll be honest with you, I can't remember if it took me to my Instagram or if it took me to a copy of it, but it was the video where I have a little snippet of a cat in it where cheese is being thrown at a cat. I don't own a cat, not my cat, but in the back of my head, I'm like, I don't know, maybe a second of using someone else's video, maybe that constitutes copyright infringement. I don't know. So. I came back, I immediately hit the appeal because I'm going to appeal this. This is crazy. And then I must have at some point put in my two-factor authentication. I don't think I would have put in my username and password. Maybe I did. I honestly, I don't know. But as soon as I did whatever I did, I stopped myself and I said, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Just go take the video down. So I flipped back over to Instagram and I started browsing to find the video. And as soon as I did, I got this, you've been logged out. Well, of course my heart started to sink at this point. I knew I'd done something really stupid. And then within seconds, I get an alert in my email from Instagram. And the alert says that my email was changed from Waffles the Yorkie official to Waffles the Yorkie AAA. I know I didn't do that. It says click here to secure your account. But as soon as I click that, it should take you to a page where you can enter in your password and reverse this. But this is what happened. So as you can imagine, my heart is in the pit of my stomach. I'm trying to figure out how I can get back to some kind of login page where I can log in and I get this through WhatsApp. I don't use WhatsApp. And the only way someone could reach me on WhatsApp 
is if they had my phone number. Well, my phone number was in my profile. So I knew the hackers had to be in there. And so when I flipped over to WhatsApp, I saw this lovely message from someone named Storm that said, sorry to say, your account is currently under my control. Awful, awful feeling. No less than a minute later, I get an email from someone named Sherry. And Sherry very helpfully tells me that if I want to recover my account, it's for sale at a certain price. Great. Uh, if I'm interested, I can reply to this email and they'll send me the next steps. Believe me when I say I was tempted. I was tempted to reply and I would pay just about anything. But thankfully, I was stupid enough to click the link. I wasn't stupid enough to reply to this. So I left it. I know what you're thinking. If you had two-factor authentication turned on, you could get into your account. Well, guess what? I did. It was on. I know I've used it multiple times to get in. In fact, I think that's what I accidentally gave the hackers when I was in that page trying to dispute the copyright claim. This is what happened. So when I went to recover my account, I get to this and I can see that my phone number, my waffles email and the original email I used to set up the account were still attached. So fine. I can pick the phone number. I can pick any one of those and I can have it send me a code. So I pick my phone number. I have it send me the code. I enter it and then it very helpfully says, fine, put in the six digit code from your authenticator app. I do and this happens. So I've now learned the hard way that two-factor authentication won't always save you. In this instance, whatever I'd done, I'd very likely logged into some kind of account that I thought was Instagram, whatever. It was actually the hackers. And in me giving them my account information, they had access to my account at exactly the same time I was trying to recover my account. And they were able to change not only the email and password, but wipe out my two-factor authentication and replace it with theirs. Well, hang on, what about your backup codes? Those should work, right? Nope. When they went in and replaced my two-factor authentication, they must have generated new backup codes, blew mine away. So those didn't work either. So now what? And I realized, hang on. If I had my Instagram connected to my Facebook, because I have a Facebook page for waffles, that I can get into it that way. Flipped over to Facebook, took a look, they disconnected my Instagram. So I'm now out of options. The next day I started to get threats from the hackers through Facebook Messenger. And I have to admit each and every one of those gets the heart rate going. It's kind of scary because you know they have control of your account and you do start to panic about, are they gonna start DMing my followers? Are they gonna try and sell people crypto? Who knows what they're gonna try and do? I ignored each and every one of those threats and the funny thing was they put a 24 hour clock on those threats and come the next day when I didn't act on them, the threats stopped. But then at that point, I just spent the next umpteen days just trying to get in, trying to get in, trying to get in. So now I'm sure the reason that you are still here is because you want to know how I got in. Well, once you go through that account reset password reset loop a bajillion times, you will eventually get to this screen. And I had the two options. I had, yes, take a selfie video to confirm my account, or no request help from friends. The first thing I tried was to take a selfie video. Believe me, I tried so many of those, probably 12, I think, if I went back and counted. The problem is with the dog account, my face doesn't show up in every single video. It's there, but a human would actually have to open my selfie and then go open my account, scroll through, find a video and compare it. 
and I'm pretty sure there's no human at the other end. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of AI that is doing some kind of comparison to either posts or the thumbnails that show up on Reels. So that was out for me. Little side note on the selfie video. I actually thought about doing one of Waffles, getting him to turn left, right, up, down. I did end up submitting one with him, with me holding him in the video. Believe me, I was getting desperate. I was trying everything. Every time you'd post a selfie, you'd have to sit and wait. Sometimes I would get a reply in 10 minutes. Sometimes it would take two days, but always it would say your information couldn't be confirmed and that you can submit a new video. But what is so frustrating about this is they don't give you a link to get back to that nice little screen. So you have to go through that reset loop and sometimes it could take me all day to get there. Now, the other option that was available to me was this request help from friends. Apparently Instagram rolled this out a while ago. It does show up for me, but I can tell from lots of folks on Reddit, etc., that it just doesn't show up for them. They get something that says, no, I don't have any photos of me in my account. So I thought, great. Request help from friends. Terrific. I'll just be able to pick my two friends and off I go. Well, first of all, it doesn't work that way. Once you click on this, it will ask you for an email where they can reach you at. So I picked something that had nothing to do with Instagram. And then on the next screen, you get a selection of around eight accounts that Instagram picks for you. Those are the ones that you can reach out to. You cannot pick who. So the next challenge comes in, how the heck do I tell these people that Instagram's gonna be sending them something and can they please accept it on my behalf without thinking it's a hacker, re it's just, it's, it sounds like it's great, but believe me, trying to reach out to people without reaching out through Waffle's account was ridiculous. I was trying to find people's emails and emailing them. I was trying to reach out to them through Waffle's sister's account, Punny Pooches, who I haven't posted on that in years. A lot of them don't even follow me over there. So even if I try to message them, Instagram now only lets you send one message and you can't have a conversation unless they reply back. If they don't follow you, your message pops into their message requests folder. They have to physically go and look for it. If they're not looking for it, they'll never see it. And quite frankly, if I got a DM from another account that I wasn't familiar with saying that Waffles needed help getting into their account, it would look suspicious. It took a lot of convincing to finally get some folks to believe me that it really was me, I'd been hacked, I needed their help. But I will tell you right now, I had to try it three separate times. And the first two times, it looked like it worked, it looked like the message went through, but my friends that I was sending it to never got it. So finally, the third time it did work, when you do this route, you put in an email where they can contact you to get you back into your account. So I used one that had nothing to do with any of my Instagram and it took a few days. And finally, I got an email about nine o'clock at night a few days ago and uh, it had the link to go and reset everything. I just want to say it's been a really long two weeks. I hope I was able to help some pet accounts learn that you can use the get help from friends option. In those two weeks, I did discover some other ways that you might be able to get your account back if that option isn't available to you. So I will be making some more videos about those just because I want to make sure 
that all that information is out there so no one has to go through what I went through. So thanks for following along and just stop clicking on links and emails. <laughs>